Nathan Owen here with Life Is Now Outdoors. Just wanted to give a quick little side-by-side -side comparison between a couple tripods that we currently offer. Um, first one would be the Fat Boy Traverse three-section carbon fiber. Uh, retails on Fat Boy's site direct for $750. Um, dealers have them for $675. Five pounds, 14 ounces overall weight. Uh, the maximum height goes to 66 inches. 42.8 millimeter on the main tube, uh, has lifetime warranty, includes a zippered padded carry bag, maximum weight rating of 100 pounds, and when folded up, the legs basically come to a point and don't cross. Um, this was the setup that I ran for a lot of last season, had no complaints about it. Uh, we did, did a lot of hunting in and out of the vehicles a lot, banging them around, throwing them around, didn't have any issues. I'll take this one out to maximum height here and show you. I'm six foot two and it's got plenty of height and everything for me. Um, so fully adjusted. It's obviously plenty tall for most anybody that's going to need it. Um, lots of different adjustment here. You can swing the, swing the legs out to get in different positions if needed. Um, like I say, they, they retail on our website currently for 675. Uh, lifetime warranty um, so that's one of the options that we offer the other one would be the pitch black thermal the beast this is actually a four section carbon fiber um, it retails for 450 the weight is six pounds goes to maximum height of 78 inches which is if you have that four section all the way out um, Includes a carry bag also, zippered padded bag, comes with limited lifetime warranty, maximum weight rating on it is 110 pounds, and also when folded up, the legs hit that bracket in the center there and don't cross. Um, I believe both of these are, are imported. I know Fat Boy had some design here in the U.S., but... Pitch Black Thermal basically found a company that will private label um, and they, they feel builds a quality product. They're, they're putting their name on it. Um, 42 millimeter main tube, uh, basically same overall carbon fiber footprint as the Fat Boy. Um, I ran this one for probably a couple months and uh, I've had zero issues with it. I know a few other guys that are running them currently and, and uh, had, had zero, zero issues with them. Um, Look to do some shooting probably off both of these this summer and maybe give a few more reviews on them. But just wanted to give a little side-by-side -side comparison between the two of them. Um, you got 675. Uh, like I say, no, no complaints on it. But um, you do have a similar option here and, and a little better price point, I guess, at, at 450. Uh, this is just personal opinion of what I've seen between the two of them, I guess. And like I say, I, I don't have any complaints on on uh, either one of them, but uh, just a couple options there, and guys can kind of make up their own own minds on what they're what they're after. But just wanted to give a little comparison of it, and uh, this is what we currently have have available. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. Life is now outdoors at gmail.com or give us a call. Thanks for watching.